Mike check one two one two is going down, man. Hey, we here at the Ricky Smiley and Friends Comedy Show, man. A lot of his friends just came on the stage and blazed it real quick, man. So what you think about Jackson, Tennessee? Uh, I like Jackson. For one, y'all party. Two, y'all resourceful because everybody brought their own food, coolers, and all kinds of. Uh Little Caesars pizzas. I saw somebody had a three-day weekend bottle of Jose Cuervo. I like how y'all get down. I'm coming back. I haven't met a baby mama potential yet, but um, uh, night is still pubescent. Uh-uh. <laughs> he got like that word got, pubescent. I like that blinged out watch. Hey, nah, this is uh, this is a fake Michael Kors. Uh, it's Kors with a C. It's real, it's real, it's real. Man, but I definitely love what you guys are doing, especially Ricky Smiley, how he's got everybody together. It's almost like a family on the stage. Um, on that note, let me say this. I met Ricky when we taped our first Deaf Comedy Jam ever, 1993, in New York. We had both just taped. We were around the corner getting pizza. And all we knew was that we both had taped. Openness, just, what's up, bro? You just taped? It was just like so fresh and so young. So to start from there, Go to Alabama and work his room in Birmingham, watch him do like this, do like this, to get up to here where we got kids and I can watch him dance around with his youngin. There ain't a better blessing in this game than when you can do it with your friends. Right. It's the best thing. So, so any advice you'll get to up and coming comedians? Yes. No rule book. The only rule is do you. Don't do nobody else. Influence is cool. There's no, nothing wrong with influence, but when you do you, you end up zoo man. And there ain't two of me. You won't find two people could do what I do. So what's next on the plate? You working on next something? Next on the plate, we're doing this. Um, I'm doing a lot of writing for some TV shows behind the scenes. I like doing writing. I'm also re pretty much just rededicating myself to stand-up. I've been spread out. I do a lot of voiceover work. Uh, I'm trying to get a job at the White House. I want to answer the phones. You don't want to talk to them people all the time. Mm -hmm. Let me answer it. Uh, who's this? What's up? Uh, we need for you uh, to do what we said to do. And it's Thursday. I asked you on Monday. Uh, do I have to come over there and turn up? You're going to make me come over there and turn up. You want me to come over there and turn up? <laughs> hey, it's definitely going down. If they want to get at you, how can they follow you on Twitter or Instagram? Um, don't follow me nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm lost in life. But you, <laughs> no. I'm on Twitter, Mr. Zoo Man, M R Z O O M A N. I'm on Instagram, Mr. Man's, M R M A N Z, and Zoo Man Miller on Facebook. Uh, or just Google search me, man. I got about five, six pages of Google stuff on me. So, we out here. And with W R U G. It's going down, man. Y'all heard it first right here, man. Hey, these guys ripped it, man. Make sure y'all support them when they come to a city near you. Hey, they get ready to leave, but you got to come down to Memphis to get some barbecue if you ain't already got it. I ain't got no barbecue yet. Man, I wanted to run into the crowd. I knew somebody had barbecue. And just landing, I smell barbecue. I'm like, yo, if I'm going to get it, I got to get it from here. And I haven't had it yet. Uh, hopefully, there's a young lady out in the lobby named Barbecue. <laughs> Bomb clap, man, done. It's going down, man. Y'all heard it first right here, man. AWRUG, man. We here kicking it, man, with our good friends, Exclusive Memphis, man. Hey, it's a new Memphis, man. Y'all heard it first right here. We out.